Hey guys, Ryan here. Today, well, we're not going to really be doing anything, but uh, I just want to say a huge thanks to Andrew Lincoln, even though I know you're never going to see this video, but tonight is Rick Grimes' final episode of The Walking Dead. Um, so, I just want to let you guys know I'm going to be doing a reaction to this episode tonight, so be looking for that tomorrow, Tuesday, not sure what day exactly, but... I'm going to be doing a reaction, so yeah, I want to thank, I want to give a shout out to Pete M, he, uh, you know, told me I should do a reaction and kind of motivated me to do this, I don't know if I would be doing it without him, but yeah guys, so um, tonight is Rick Grimes' final episode, so let's get excited, we're not going to cry, we're going to get excited, so yeah, I just want to talk about some of my favorite moments of Rick Grimes, so gonna kind of be like a top 10 video so guys coming in at number 10 is when rick goes it's from the season 2 finale it's like his iconic thing he said like this isn't a democracy anymore uh, is i just think it's a funny line but everyone else thinks it's like insanely who rick tatorship but at number nine um when he goes crazy after Carl gets shot of the eye and kills like a million walkers in the season six mid-season premiere that was a crazy episode, like, absolutely crazy. If you think about it, within the span of five minutes, a kid gets eaten, then the mom gets eaten, then um, the mom's arm gets cut off, then Michonne stabs the other kid, and Carl's eye gets shot out. Like, it's just a crazy four minutes. <laughs> um, but anyways, so, that, but anyways, yeah, so number nine goes to... Goes crazy and kills walkers. Eight, when he kills Tomas um, in the second episode of season three, after he, like, throws a walker on him, almost cuts him with his knife, and then he takes the machete, and it was very gruesome. Um, when he kills Dave and Tony in the bar in season two, episode nine, I believe it is. Nine or ten, I think it's nine. But, yeah, so he just, like... The one dudes are just being super, like, suspicious. And then he just goes, pew, 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 and takes them both out. They bo um, both of them, especially Tony, were just big a-holes. So they both deserve to die. And number six, when he tells Negan he's going to kill him three times, and he ends up not doing it, <laughs> in the season seven premiere, the season seven finale, and season eight, episode ten, he goes, I'm going to kill you. And he doesn't. <laughs> Um, and then next up, when he cuts off Jesse's arm, because that's actually, that was, that's a super, um, underrated thing. He, that's his girlfriend, and he cuts her arm off to save his son. Like, that's, a, that should be a little bit more, you know, Rick is a little bit crazy, and that should definitely be a more, um, like, emphasized scene that people talk about, because no one talks about the fact that he cut off his girlfriend's arm. And no one talks about the fact that the next episode he got with another one, <laughs> another girl. So, um, anyways, that's in the season six mid-season premiere. Um, it, when he hits the cop with the car in the season eight mid-season finale, uh, season five mid-season finale, he hits, the cop guy is running, and Rick gets in a car and ch chases after him in the car, and then he's like, stop, stop. He says like four times, and the guy doesn't stop, so he hits him with the car and kills him. Um, my, well, this is probably one of my, 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 um, my third favorite, well, obviously, not, number three, my, well, my third favorite scene with Rick is when he fights Pete. That, I think that scene is so cool. He does it for, to protect Jesse, Sam, not as much Ron, because no one likes Ron, but, um, so, and then he has that big speech with Deanna, and then the next episode when he kills Pete, it's, I put, fights Pete, slash, and, um, and does speech slash kills Pete. So it's it's all just like, it's over the span of two episodes, but it's it's a really good, um, he Pete gets taken out and it's just a really big, awesome fight. At number two, when he kills Gareth in the church in season five, episode three, one of my all time favorite episodes. It's such a good episode. Um, and then next up from the season four finale, when he bites out Joe's throat. Now, such an awesome awesome scene no like it seems like no one talks about that either but people do talk about it at the same time i don't know so much stuff um 
that Rick Grimes has done to survive and protect Carl and Michonne and Daryl and Carol and Maggie and everyone he loves. Um, but yeah, he's such an awesome character. He's, I really think it'd be so cool, um, to be able to meet him one day, uh, and like get something signed. But yeah, so if I ever do, I'll have the camera ready to record. <laughs> but if I ever meet Andrew Lincoln, that'd be so cool. But I just want to say, if you ever see this video, thanks, man, for being on the show. I don't care. I know that you're leaving and everything. That's sad, but nine years of your life. That's a long time. Um, that's a lot of time to be away from your family as well, too, if you put it all together. So, yeah, thanks for everything that you've done for the show. You got it to where it is today. Um, well, you got it to where it was in season five. Then Scott Gamble kind of ruined it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Tune in tonight for Rick Grimes' last episode, and I will see you guys tomorrow or Tuesday for my reaction. Bye, guys.